Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick tip. If you're working with imported geometry, as many of us are, and need to make small edits for manufacturing, or in general, it can be a long and tedious task to edit or delete and recreate features. However, the Find Features command in direct modeling might streamline this process. If you're not already in direct mode, right-click on the top level and select Do Not Capture Design History. Now there's no timeline at the bottom of the screen, and features won't rebuild the same way they will in parametric mode. This gives a lot of flexibility, and there are great resources by some of our direct modeling experts, like Brad, on the benefits. But I want to focus on just one feature that can save you time when making small edits, especially when preparing for manufacture. The Find Features command is in the Create menu, and opens a dialog that asks which body or component you want to find the features of, and which kind of features you want to find. Note that the compute time goes up with each selection, so on an especially feature-rich model, you might want to limit these to only features you're interested in editing. Now the browser is populated with all the features that were found, and you can click on them to highlight them in the model. Before we actually start making edits, I would suggest copying the original body for reference later on. This will also create a copy of all the features. So to keep the browser neat, I'll right-click on the copied body and select Dissolve Features, which will simply remove them from the browser, so I know I'm making the edits to the right body. Now on to the edits. I might want to delete chamfers for a variety of reasons, like easier contour selections or to use the 2D chamfer toolpath, so I'll just right-click and delete. Maybe I also want to increase the size of nominal fillets to prevent over-engagement when finishing. I'll right-click on that fillet in the browser, edit, and update the size. Of course, when you're done making your edits, you can switch to parametric mode by right-clicking on the top level and selecting Capture Design History. I hope this helps you in making edits to imported geometry. Be sure to like this video if it was helpful and subscribe for more. Cheers!